You have a message. Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Walk on. I forgot to say that. <laughs> if you all know already, I am an island girl. Not originally, but my dad is from Jamaica. And his parents, I believe, were from Trinidad, I believe. So yeah, I have Jamaican and Trini in my blood. Trinidad and Tobago. I'm not sure why they link those two countries like that. Or whatever, but that's where I'm from. I got a lot of island stuff in my blood. I grew up eating a lot of Jamaican food. A lot of weird stuff. A lot of good food. You know, a lot of things I didn't appreciate as a child until, until I started getting older. Um, but, you know, nonetheless, a lot of good food. But the one thing I never got into was spices. I don't like spicy food. I can't handle spicy food, and I'm not sure why. I really wish that I was into spicy food a lot of times. Because, yeah, I grew up with a lot of spicy food. I grew up with my father putting spices on damn near everything. He would make the food too spicy. And in a way, I got kind of traumatized from it. Oh my god, why they gotta be sirens out there? Are you serious? Oftentimes, the food would be too spicy, and I would get annoyed and whatnot and complain. But guess what? I still had to eat it because my parents were hella strict. My dad, especially, I definitely had to eat what was on my plate, regardless of how spicy it was. Ridiculous, right? But, um, it's weird that I'm from Jamaica. And I don't like spices because, I mean, I'm not saying that's a generic thing, but a lot of people that I met from the islands, they love spices. My husband is not even from an island. He loves spices. So, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me. You know, it's kind of hard to train yourself to do it because they say you train yourself to enjoy spices. You just have to put it in damn near everything you eat and get used to it. But <sighs> it's hard for me. Every time I try to start doing it, I always forget. I just get discouraged. I'm like, no, it's too hot. I can't. I can't really enjoy my food. You know what I mean? You know, I know it's like everything else. It's like, you know, if you keep doing it, you're going to make a pattern. It's going to become a habit and you're going to start enjoying it. And it's going to work for you. If you want it to work for you, it will work for you. And the reason why I want to start liking spices is because I know peppers are healthy for you. They are very healthy. And if you all know, oh my god, it's adorable little kittens. You're so cute! Oh my god. <laughs> Completely distracted. Anyway, um... If y'all know anything about peppers, peppers are good for your heart. They're really, really good for your heart. So, I need that. If y'all know me in real life, y'all know I have a lot of inflammation issues in my body. Um, no diseases yet or, or any conditions except for my legs having lipedema, aka excess inflammatory fat in my legs. My legs are bigger than they should be, and they have been for a couple of years now. Um, it's gonna have a lot of inflammation. Inflammation. I said inflammation. <laughs> I have a lot of inflammation in my body. I don't look like it. But, you know, I've been working out anyway, but I, it doesn't seem like it just from looking at me. But I do. I have a lot of inflammation. I have a lot of circulation issues. I know I got issues with my blood being too thick. Um, no doctor hasn't really told me that because I haven't really had a chance to get a checkup in years. Except for when I was pregnant. But, I know my blood is too thick. Um, I have a hard time with circulation. And clearly that tells me my blood is too thick. I have issues with my blood moving around, so I gotta start, I gotta move around a lot more and shit, which I have been doing. But, spices really help with that, really help with that. You know, put some cayenne pepper, some red pepper, any kind of spices on my food will help that, and I know that, but it's like, I just keep forgetting to do so. I forget, and then I get discouraged to even do it, even when I so-called forget, because it's not like I could just... You know, it's not an easy transition for me. I just never liked spicy food. Oh, So yeah, it's not an easy transition. But yeah, it's weird. I am an island gal. And I don't like spicy food. 
maybe if I had actually been born in the islands and grown up in Jamaica or Trinidad or something, I might have been used to it, maybe. But you would think I'd be used to it because I was um, forced to eat it as a kid. No, that probably just traumatized me to, to it. That probably just made me traumatized and not want to eat it in a way. So, but for my health, for my health, I gotta do better. Like, seriously. Has anybody else had this issue where, where um, you wanted to get used to spicy food, but you, you just couldn't, or it was taking you a longer time to get used to it? What did you do? Like, how did you start sticking it in there a little bit at a time? You know, people say just do, it's simple, just put it in your smoothies or whatnot. Make a smoothie, douse it a little bit on your food. But like I said, I would start and then I would stop. And that's what's been happening for the last how many years. I've been attempting to get used to cayenne pepper at least. Whew, cayenne pepper's so damn hot. It's so damn hot, but I need it. And when I was doing it, I, I think I was feeling some of the effects because my blood needs it. Like, for real, it needs it. I need some type of natural blood thinner. Whew, I ain't trying to die out here in the streets. <laughs> yeah, I'm an island girl, and I don't do spices, but I've got to do better for the sake of my health. And it's just on period. That's what I'm going to work on. Again, I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to get back to putting cayenne and everything. It is what it is, yo. <laughs> let me know if you've been through this. Let me know your comments and suggestions. I mean, let me know down in the comments if you've had this issue or if you had an issue that was um, similar to it or anything of the sort. If you helped anybody get through it, what did you do? Let me know down below. Now, everybody... It's having a great day, second hour, month, minute, decade, and month. Oh, perfect timing. It's, it's starting to rain. Oh, shit. Perfect timing for me to be done with this video. I need to get my ass back inside. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Peace out.